I'm John Bradbury and welcome to John's Detective Adventures and we're out and about searching for history and I've got a friend that's come all the way from the USA, Texas to do a bit of detecting with me and see if we can find some history. Michael Price. I'm just pleased to sponsor to be out here with John's Detecting Adventures and we're hoping to find some history today. I'm looking to find my first uh, coins in this area. We'll see. We've got a 54 on the manticore here. Oh, actually I could see it. It's there, look. <laughs> there it is. In the hole. Half penny. Of. Can't really tell, but I think it's. I think it's Victoria. And he's got a nice gilded button, 17, 18 century. Uh, happy with that. It's a bit of history at the moment, isn't Very it, Paul? Happy with that. I'll take anything that's got history. Yeah, great. So we're just looking forward to more stuff, but that's the first for him. Well, we're all right for a lock. Just got to find the key. <laughs> Sounds like that. It's a big one. There we go. A coin. There we go. King Victoria, I reckon. Oh no. It's George V, half penny. Oh, yes, his first coin in Britain. Very good, that, thank mate. You, thank you. Jolly good. Yes. Very good. We'll have a bit of that. Yeah. And he's got his first one. Yes, what, I have. What have you got there, mate? I've got a King George III. King George III, first coin. Oh, uh, we have a, a lead spindle word, plain. Not quite sure that it's Roman, but with him being plain, they can be Roman. So, spindle well, there we go. Oh, dear, it's big. It's big. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we have it. It's a... Uh... It's a reins older. Horse reins older. Buckle type thing. Heart shaped locket. That's what we got there. Front of it. Yeah. The other, the other bit's missing. Heart. Heart locket. I'm liking this site. Um, yeah, it's, not, it's, it's, it's too bad. We just got to find a bit of silver, and I think we'll get more excited, won't we? But it's oh, yes. it's, it's nice but, to dig into. It's soft, easy to put back, and everything yes, else. Much better than Texas. M much better than Texas. <laughs> Pewter pendant of Victoria. Probably a commemorative pendant. Very good. Superb. We'll have a bit of that. <laughs> An old 17th, 18th century door handle made of brass. So, the second half now, we're off on a different field, me and Michael. So, which field shall we go? We don't really know. We've been in that one and we're off in that direction. It depends. 37 in here. Oh, that is. Oh, we have a coin. Victoria, half penny. Hey, look at that, look at that. Da, 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 da. Look at that. Gold ring. Belt buckle, gold ring. Absolutely superb. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Am I made up with that? I'm made up. But look at that. Let's take out the muck. And I should have badged in his own marks in that, which I'm going to have to figure out. But that's definitely gold, chaps. Definitely, without a doubt, gold. No doubt about it. Look at that. 
We'll have a bit of that. Absolutely superb. That's made my day for definite. Hey, go! Don't you just love seeing that go? Look at that fantastic gold ring. A buckle ring, all fancy. This is brilliant. I've had gold for such a long time, but this is a great feeling. Solid gold. Oh, I think it looks like 18 carats, but I'm going to check it all out with the old marks, but I've got gold. Hey, hey. So this is what Michael found. Variations of buttons. George III, Victorian, half pennies. I think we've got a, a gilded button. Horse, grass, bridle, belt, D belt, various other things. Small little Elizabeth II coins. And, uh, I think it's some sort of tractor part there. So that's what Michael found today. And this is what I found. <laughs> Mark Padlock. It's a 20th century buckle. Uh, Reigns harness holder. Probably 18th century, 19th century. Draw handle. Belt buckle, door mount, buttons, door handle, and then we have a few copper coins. Uh, we have the George III Catwheel Penny, variations of coins from George V to Victorian. And of course we have the commemorative pewter pendant. And then of course we've got the gold. The gold, look at that. The gold. That's what we found. Well, that's the end of another brilliant metal detecting day. Uh, and I'm with the uh, Michael, he's heading back down to London. Great having him on the channel. John has been a most gracious host, amazing person. Um, if you ever get a chance to meet this guy and shake his hand, do so. Um, I, not much to say. He, he is your typical great detectorist and uh, shares his wealth of knowledge freely. So, great man. Thank you very much, John. See you on the next adventure.